What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at five more of the best card wallets for men. Uh, sorry it's been a long time since the last time I uploaded. It's just uh, it's been busy. Um, but I got five new wallets for you guys. Uh, I've used some of them. Some of them are a little bit newer. Some of them I just haven't used quite yet. Uh, but we're going to take a look at all these um, and uh, everything will be linked below. So let's get started. All right, so the first one we're going to be taking a look at is from a company called Main Street Forge. Uh, now, they actually sent this back to me, uh, you know, a while back. Uh, I actually did a, like, best men's Christmas gift video, uh, and this was included in it. Uh, but it's just a very simple five-pocket wallet. Uh, so we'll load some cards in here. So you have one spot right there, one spot right there, and one here. And one here. Now, all these pockets can obviously stretch a little bit because it is leather. So if you wanted to add one more card in there, it will fit. It's just going to stretch the leather a little bit. And then there is a spot in the middle for cash. Now, you can do it when they're folded up in half. Um, it just, it's going to stick out a little bit. So, you know, that's as far as it can go down in there. So you're going to get a little bit sticking out. But what you can always do is if I can get it out again... Uh, you can just fold it in half, which is what I like to do personally. Uh, that way, it's not sticking out, and it's also easier. It's also a little bit easier to grab because it's a little bit bigger in there. But that's pretty much your wallet right there. So um, you have access to all your cards. You can see which one you need. Uh, you know, pull it out and stick it back in. So uh, the leather is very, very soft. So the leather is actually very, very soft. If I get up close here, you can just see the, you know, it's a, uh, you know, look at the leather is really, really cool. It already looks like it's kind of patinaed, like it's kind of aged a little bit. Uh, you can see all the markings from the hide, which is pretty cool. Um, there's not any like layers inside. That's, that's one of the really big problems I have with, have with like cheap gimmicky wallets is they have like a, uh, like a film or a layer on the inside that's usually like a plastic or something like that. And when you move the wallet, it, crunches this is just nice and smooth very very soft supple leather so this will definitely stretch to adapt to more cards it's going to patina really nice really good option from main street forge so um i don't know the exact name of this but it'll be linked below so there's that next up we have one of the one of the very first wallets actually i got sent from a company this was sent to me whoops this was sent to me by a company called mr lentz that's mr l-e-n-t-z i believe uh, it's just a very, very simple card wallet. It's got a snap on the front with this little, uh, you know, pin here, not pin, uh, you know, little clip button. And then there is a quick access slot in the back. So this is how I personally use it. Uh, grab every card except for the one that you want to have quick access to. And that slides in the main body of it. And then you take your cash, fold it up, slide it. Actually, sorry, I slide it in the front because if you slide it in the back, uh, it interferes with the card going in there because all all that is basically is just a slit. You can see it there. It's just a slit that's cut into the leather. There's not an you know an additional pocket, uh, and then that snaps down to hold all that inside. And then you have your most used card on the outside. If I can get that there, just like that. So this is really good if you want to use tap to pay. So you put your most used card there. You don't even have to grab it out. You can just tap it to the reader, and then you're good to go. Um, very, very simple, very sleek, um, and, you know, I like it. It's a nice, it's a nice little wallet, holds everything I need it to, and, uh, you know, I, I like how everything, there's no sewing, it's all just buttons and, you know, metal and leather, but this is a really, really solid option. Uh, what's really cool is that Mr. Lentz actually marks all of his products with a serial number, so you know which one you got, so I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, that is the Mr. Lentz wallet. Uh, I believe it's just called like the button wallet, but any, it, it'll be linked below. Next up, we have a wallet. This is uh, from actually a creator I found on Instagram. His name is Black Stag Leather. That's his uh, logo there with the stag. Uh, very, very cool design. Uh, it's got stitching on the bottom and kind of on the, you know, on the side here, kind of partial. It's a dual tone stitching, which I think is really cool. You have this like mint green down here. And then this almost, it's, I think it's just black leather. It looks blue in this light. I think it's just because it's reflecting off of this blue mat I have here. But um, really, really cool 
wallet. So let's put the put some cards in here. Uh, here's how I personally use it. Uh, the cash just goes in the middle with some cards that I don't really frequently use. So let's just say it was, you know, let's just say it was these three and these two I use the most. So these would go in here. Whoops, I forgot a card. These would go in here with the cash. Let me pull this out. So these would go in here with the cash, just like so. And then my most used cards go on the outside. So it's a very, very simple design, very easy to access your cards. It's like the easiest thing to grab and go. Um, you can keep your most used card out. You can use tap to pay. This isn't an RFID protective wallet. All of these wallets, I believe, are all um, not RFID because they're just pure leather. But um, this is patinaed really nice. Um, you know, I, I, I did use this wallet for a few months, um, so I did spend a good time with this wallet. So Black Side Leather is owned by a guy named Chase Decker, um, and I hit him up, and he uh, sent me this wallet, which was very nice of him. Uh, he's a very small creator, makes really high-quality stuff. He uses Wicket and Craig Leather, which I think is really, really cool. Um, I love Wicket and Craig Leather, and you're going to see how much I love Wicket and Craig Leather uh, with my favorite wallet, which is coming up soon. Uh, but... Very, very cool design. I love this thing. Plenty of room. There's way more room. You can easily fit two cards in each of the outside slots, and you could probably fit two or three more cards inside. So very, very nice capability there. All right, and the last two are going to be what, what people call envelope style. This is the more traditional envelope style where it actually looks like an envelope, but basically the envelope style is there's a flap on top. It folds and goes into something which holds the cards into the wallet. Uh, so... Here are my cards. We're just going to, basically, it's you put your most used card on top, and then cash goes behind all your cards, and you load it in there just like that, and then it closes down and goes underneath that flap, and that's pretty much your wallet. So if your wallet falls, I mean, your stuff is totally safe inside because you have the envelope flap there. And then when you need all your stuff, you open it up and, I mean, everything's still there. It's not, in, in, you know, in some weird order. It's uh, very, very simple. Uh, now, this is made by Misc uh, Leather Goods or Miscellaneous, Misc Goods Company. There it is, Misc Goods Company. Um, so there's a little saying here. It says, it will fade along with you. It will turn to dust. So be generous and leverage it well. I think that's, I think what that means is this text is engraved in the leather. And as you use it, uh, you are going to be wearing down this, you know, the top of the leather, and eventually all of this text is, is going to fade away, and you're just going to be left with smooth leather. I have not got it to that point yet, because, I mean, I've used this thing, as you can see, it has patinaed, uh, but I haven't used it that much. Uh, that's going to take a while for that to happen. Uh, this is, this wallet is very, very, it's just very simple. It's uh, pretty sleek. Um, I like the look of it. It has a cool vibe to it. I'm down. Um, but as you see here, it says lose it or keep it. So if you see lose it, then you're going to lose your cards because the flaps open. And then if you just see keep it, your cards are safe. So I think that's, this is cool. Um, I like this one a lot. Missed leather goods. Go check it out. And now we have my favorite wallet. This is the Thin Fin by Lost Dutchman Leather. This is the wallet that I've put a lot of use in. I used this thing for a solid uh, probably eight months. I used this actually a lot during COVID, uh, which oddly, I don't really know why I did that, but this was like my main wallet pretty much all through 2020 uh, when COVID was going down, and I love this wallet. So um, your cards go in. It's very, very simple. Cards go in just like that, and your cash goes right behind it. And there is a little slit that he cuts into the wallet, and there's that. So he uses Wicket and Craig leather. I love Wicket and Craig. Uh, so this is glazed harness leather, and so is this one. So as you can see, they both have a really shiny sheen to them, and that is what the glazed harness is. It's a it's a process that they go through with the leather that gives it this shiny, uh, you know, look. Um, and I love the patina on it. Uh, this is I think. This is just like the natural color. I'm not totally sure uh, what it's called, um, but it'll be linked below, <laughs> as I've said. Um, really, really cool design. I just love the look of this thing. Um, the functionality of it is super, super sweet. You just throw this thing in your front pocket. It disappears. You don't even know it's there. 
Uh, I could, I think I could fit probably one or two more cards. I think I normally carry about seven cards, and I only have, what, six right now? So I could probably fit one or two more cards in here. But if you stretch the, if you put like eight or nine cards in this thing, it will stretch. It'll just be a little bit tight, but it's leather, so it'll adapt. Um, really, really nice quality. I love this wallet. Definitely go check it out. Uh, this wallet does have like a bigger brother. There's one called the Finnegan, and then there's the Big Fin, which is like the huge version of this wallet. Um, I did a full review on this wallet, so I'll link it below if you want to go see a more in-depth review of it. But fantastic quality. I love this thing. So now I'm going to put all of the prices for all of these. There you are. There's a bunch of different price ranges. I know that the Main Street Forge leather wallet is kind of on the cheaper side compared to the other wallets here, but I think they're all reasonably priced. Uh, I think the Miss Goods Leather is the most expensive one on the table, but um, anyway, that's going to do it, you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay humble. Peace.